Krishna Sergi escribe un evento en Girona que he dicho muy bien. Some people disturbing you and I you to read about it. I said for three, the last three years only two, three disturbance, two, three fight. In our life, in our knockdown fighting, in the, in the dojo there will be minimum 150, 200 students. And being a senior, we have to make sure that we fight with all the 200 students. Knockdown fighting. And students are taught not to control at all. Not the British style of, if I hit you harder, you hit me hard. When I hit you soft, you hit me so No, no, no. The moment you start, you go with full power. And not one to 200 fights a day, the whole body, you take the punches and then you hit back, you go back and you realize that you have to do a lot of squats and abs and your push-ups so that you can throw punches, power, you will take the punishments. And you, if at all in the fight you feel certain areas are weak, you can go back and develop it. At the end of every fight, you hug every member. You don't keep a grudge 200 people. I said 200 people, God has given us his body to fight with minimum 200 people per day. And in the three years, I only won two or three. That was not at all a fight. And every fight I find that they got an opportunity to throw the best talents and it is my duty to build up. The more they fight with me, the more stronger I become. And when people don't fight, I feel very sad. And in, when I started the school, I never became a Swamiji. Swamiji, Swamiji, nobody is fighting with me. I love fighting. Only when you fight, I become strong. Some will throw physical hit on you. Good, because you can go and do some exercise to make you understand. If you cannot take the physical hit, you know, you're weak. Better do some exercise. Don't sit like a song and uh, blurt out something. Some will spit on your face to find out. You must find out that you have the power to take in the punishment of the spit. Some will talk bad <laughs> and you must... Find out all the bad, all the stones which are collected, you can build up a big castle. <laughs> so fight is not to destroy you. The people who are fighting with you are your real lovers. They wanted to make you strong. If you believe that, not a single house will go waste, not a single brother and sister will split, husband and wife or the parents. Our joint family family tree will be very strong. Today is Taoism. Lao Tzu said, when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you, was an ancient Chinese philosopher and writer. He is the reputed author of the Tao Te Ching, the founder of philosophical Taoism and a deity in religious Taoism and traditional Chinese religions. Lao Tzu said, when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. <laughs> I can't believe what you are joking. Lao Tzu, years back, 571 BC, he uttered such a word and the whole world looks like a circus. <laughs> All this education become a circus. All the MBBS degrees, engineering degrees, operating, everything has become nothing. Prime ministers and presidents and chief ministers become a laughing stock in front of this one state. When you realize, realize means when you're conscious. When you start observing, when you start living in your body and you move live, not what Swami Vivekananda said, people are walking with dead bodies when walk like live bodies. When you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you because you can understand that everything what is in your, your left hand box, your right hand box, your right leg box, your left leg box, your stomach, your bum, your chest, your heart, your mouth, your jaws, your ears, your eyes. Precious and it is not lacking. It is dusting, it does all the works. Once you realize and you know to embrace and hug it and build up on that, you become a powerful organ. You start becoming like a magnet and you can't uh, tell idle mind is a devil's workshop because the more you polish, more people get attracted. You got enough work. You hardly have any time to think. No past, present, future. Everything stops for a second, and then you are in that space, that emptiness. And in that emptiness, you you think it is meditating. Now everybody going for meditation just to learn that one because 
I didn't mind was a devil's workshop for them. They did not realize nothing is lacking. The whole world belongs to them. When they are lacking, then they have to go to meditation class. Here it stops. Every second it stops. And only the loser thinks of looking at the winner. But the winner always thinks of winning. Yes. You will only think of going forward. You don't worry about how much you are made and who is sick. Lao Tzu said, when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Then that is the first time our Indian philosophy becomes so powerful in front of thousands. Because the whole of Indian philosophy, the whole of the Indian religious saints kept on telling everything what they see is God. And the book God, nothing is there, it's all embracing. Yes. And you see a tree, you feel it, God. Hence, the Hindu is the only one, only the whole world, which worships even the stone, the trees, the animals, everything. And the stupidity of the temples of India is only because the Zen master said, Look at the moon. He pointed the finger and said, Look at the moon. And the only stupidity that all the students took the finger, framed it up, and started worshipping, thinking the finger is the moon. When they said, Worship everything as God, this monkey started chipping the stone, making gods and asking people to worship. No, no, no. Loud the rock when you are in the rock. Loud the tree when you are in the tree. Love the grass when you're in the grass. I go driving in my village and whenever I see dogs, I'll slow down and say, Oh, I see the uh, 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 chicken or the cock, I say, If I see a dog, I say, quack, 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 quack. I'll make noise to talk because I see everything in God. That was what my ancestors. My previous religious leaders, my Maharishis in my Hindu society has taught not only us but the whole world. And Lao Tzu has put it in very simple terms. That stupidity of taking the finger, pointing to the moon and thinking the finger is the moon. They thought the, rock, the stone is the God. And they started taking the snake instead of loving the snake and feeding the snake. If you come out, yes. Vietnam people, Thailand people catching king cobras and all, nothing happens. <laughs> Some people are eating, that's different. But India do not know when to catch. They're scared. They put a picture of that snake and started worshipping. That was the only one stupidity. <laughs> you have to master and overcome that. Like a bronco over one case went to a bronco over the rationalist. He's the one who came to India and challenged so many people. It was very popular, a bronco word. One case went to him was a girl who got married even after four years work. Did not become pregnant. What has that got to do with the rationalist? Chill people, the mother and father went to Dr. Abronko and told him. Abronko said, okay, I'll come and meet the girl. The whole Sri Lankan newspapers and television all rushed up to the house waiting for Bronco to arrive. Bronco over. He said, Sir, this has got nothing to do. This is about the doctors. But why are you, as a rationalist, coming to find out how to make a girl pregnant? And he just smiled when he said and told his parents uh, what happened. Parents said, We went to all the mantra, tandra, kindra, all the people. We went to all the doctors, but nobody could find out why she's not getting pregnant. So he said, Okay, give me a Five minutes time alone with, with your daughter in the room. I don't want anybody coming. Abraham go over into the room and lock the room. And then as he entered and locked the room, and she started laughing and choking. He said, Why are you laughing? He said, Sir, this is you are the first person who came to talk to me. All the mandra, tantra, kindra never spoke to me. Doctors never spoke to me, just looked at me and started giving me all the medicines. Abraham goes to what is the problem? Sir, to become pregnant, my husband should touch me. Husband, four years he never touched her. The problem was okay. No, instead of five minutes, he came out in two minutes. The problem is solved. Everybody's shocked. Doctors couldn't do it. What happened to Abraham Kaur? Abraham Kaur came out and said, I want to talk to the husband. He called the husband. He said, What? He said, When uh, that girl was in ninth grade, my um, mother died. She was looking at Segel with my mother. So I went and told my father. Father went and told, asked for the girl and the mother. Girl's mother said, She's too small. We cannot get you married because we were rich. I am the only son. They gave the girl to me 
And what I did is, I see her in the roof of my mother. So I call her, Amma, I give all the facilities. <laughs> but I know that is correct. Oh, Marty, Mando, now look, he gets a wife. <laughs> Don't do puja, like the finger pointing to the moon. Like all the temples putting the stone and then think that is a God. You have to convert people to think a little more deeper, to love the, and pedicure, manicure the land. And the husband said, okay. Next year, all the newspaper, Abraham Gover went and sold, and the girl got pregnant, she got a baby also. Abraham Gover did not get the baby. Just a simple touch to find out what went wrong. And as we said, he made love. That's all. He said, really, Amma, Amma, and pointing the finger to the moon, thinking, thinking the finger is the moon. No, no, no. Certain things went wrong. We have to come to the And that's it. Love says it. When you realize nothing is lacking, what is lacking? Beautiful wife, beautiful husband, beautiful children, they all are beautiful. If you can sit there, it's well with all of them and you can penetrate, ah, you can hug and embrace it up. And together, the family sits together, you should praise together, grows together, you can do that. What is lacking? Nothing is lacking. Where there is poverty, who will ever tell you are poor or rich? Who will go to the factories? Your house itself is a passive big factory. <laughs> And around your house, everybody is gone. Laos is said when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. I took Lamsi.